H3D is a drug discovery and development center at the University of Cape Town. It is a fully integrated center for drug discovery. And so it consists of chemists, pharmacologists, and biologists. And together we really focused on developing new medicines for, for diseases, um, particularly those that affect Africa. In terms of the malaria stats, the more recent one is based on the World Health Organization 2021 report, which actually reported more than 600,000 deaths across the world and about 241 million cases of malaria. 95% of those are actually in Africa. So over the past few years at H3D, we've, we've been working on, on this anti-cancer compound as a potential anti-malarial. We've been working to understand how it kills the, the malaria parasite and to understand its activity across the different life cycle stages of malaria. And finally, after a lot of research with many collaborators, we're now um, able to release this exciting new study to the public. This study has identified a human kinase inhibitor, which is, which is in clinical trials for the treatment of cancer, that also has anti-malaria activity. So this provides an opportunity to take a drug that's been used in one disease area and to use it in a different indication. We established how this cancer drug kills the malaria parasite. And that information is really critical in designing next generation of medicines that are able to resist resistance or at least delay its emergence. Repurposing a drug really means that you're taking a drug that is used in one disease area and you then using it for a different disease. So in this case, we're taking the information from the cancer field and applying it in the malaria field. And this can be a really great way of, of, of fast-tracking drug development. So we know drug development is, is really time-consuming um, and expensive. Um, and, and so being able to use information from one field or, or disease area and transferring it to another can really speed up the process. So the importance of this discovery, I think, needs to be put in the context of the seriousness of malaria, especially on the African continent, where the vast majority of the cases occur, especially amongst children under the age of five. So this is an important development in terms of showing one avenue for speeding up the process of discovering new medicines for malaria. Drug resistance is something that's inevitable. Um, the parasite is constantly evolving. And so really coming up with new strategies to slow this down is, is really important for drug discovery.